I'd love to fly on nights like these, she whispered, dipping slightly to her left as if negotiating a turn over the rippling sea. She dipped her right shoulder next, imagining what it might feel like to soar up to the moon, then barrel toward the silver light dancing over the waves. A thousand tropical scents would rush up at her, giving her senses a feast. She'd steady out at the last possible second and swoop an inch from the waves like a gull. And Kai would be right behind her, swooping and hollering with the joy of it all. Kai cocked his head, and she dropped her arms. He probably thought she was nuts, like her sister had when she'd mentioned flying in her dreams. He scraped the edge of the grass with his shoe. It is nice. She looked over. What's nice? Flying. On nights like this. He motioned toward the water, curving his hand left and right, miming a glider. Or a gliding dragon, she realized. She looked out over the water, fighting the emotion welling up in her chest. A wistful, achy feeling, like something had been taken from her even before she was born. What's it like? His chest lifted and fell with a deep breath, and he thought about it for a while, then spoke so quietly she had to strain to hear. It's nice when the sea is calm enough for the moon to reflect like that. When you fly in the beam of light, it's almost like a road. My dad used to call it the road to heaven. His voice grew soft and reverent. He said, it's the road that led him to my mom. Tessa sighed, watching the moonshine stretch away to infinity. Oh, if only she could fly. Maybe then she could find her own soulmate. You already found him, a little voice whispered in her mind. Now it's time to make him yours. <laughs>